Hello, today I will show you how you can create controller and view in Laravel 5.5. In my previous tutorial, I have already shown you how you can install Laravel. So after installation, my Laravel project is here in C drive, Laravel and project folder. So now I will create controller and view under this project. Before starting, uh, to create controller I I want to say that all controller files are stored in app under HTTP and controller folder here controller.php is the best folder and all controller will be created by extending this base control and all view files stored under resource folder and view under resource folder there is a uh, default view welcome.blade.php and our all newly created view file will be stored here now go for the first step create a controller to create the controller you have to open the common prompt and type this command php artisan make colon controller and your controller name go to the project folder and paste or type the command controller created successfully now uh, you can see our new controller file is created here my controller dot php next step is to create a new folder name test and a view file name index dot blade dot php under the test folder uh, remember when you creating any view file then must add dot blade word with every view file name so now i will first create a test folder under view folder uh, new folder test and now I will create index.blade.php and file new php and uh, save the file name as which will be stored under test folder and file name is index dot blade and extension will be php okay our file is created we'll go for the step 3 write controller code to show the view open the controller file and paste the index method here Okay, what is the purpose of index methods? This is the default method of any controller. When we um, call a controller, then by default, this method code will execute. So, here return view index. Index is our uh, view file name, and uh, in index file, the following value will be uh, submitted, which is name sound on vacation so save the controller file and to display this value name uh, I have to write code in my view file and the code is here just add dollar name by 
including paragraph tag. Okay, the variable declared here will be similar like the uh, variable name that is uh, used in my controller. Okay, now I have to start the server. Open another command from window and go to the project folder. And uh, run the server php artisan serve okay server is running and I if I open it in a folder localhost Colon eight thousand. Okay, this is our uh, default view. Welcome dot blade dot PHP content. Now I will. Uh, now I want to display the content that I will send from my my controller file. So to do this, I have to add a route code, which is in the next step add route for controller in the web.php file web.php file is under root folder so copy the code and i will paste here open the web.php file which is under root folder web.php so this is the uh, default route and now I will add my code. What is meant by that? That means when I will type slash test after the root, then it will call my controller index method, which I have declared before. That means this method. So this will uh, load the index view with variable name and the values on John vacation okay now if I uh, type slash test here okay uh, there is an error occur that is the index view file is not found there is a reason for that because uh, our index file is under test folder that I have not defined in my controller so I have to type here test dot index then it will find the index dot blade dot php file and if I again refresh the page then I will get my output in this way uh, you can pass variable with value from controller to any view file now uh, I will uh, show you extra uh, detail about variable passing and uh, the second example is another declaration of variable passing from controller to view so I will add this code here just comment in this line and add the new code what is happening here here I have declared the uh, name variable separately and use the variable like this with name method and the uh, output format will be the same like before I have to type test dot index so output is the same but the variable passing syntax is different 
Okay, go for the next equation. Uh, passing two variables name and date so I will copy the code and add in the controller okay again comment this line type the view file name properly here which is test dot index and two variables are here name and date name with values on John vacation and date with a value of the current date now add the view code to read these two variables Okay, run the code again. Now you can see date value is appeared here. Now go for the next step. Uh, a next step is to uh, declaring two variable in different uh, context and uh, which use compact method, but the output will be same in this way also you can define two or multiple variables from controller to view and uh, another step shows how you can display javascript alert in view file so i will add this line in my view file and refresh the page then you can see the alert messages appear in this way you can pass single variable or multiple variable from controller to view or any javascript alert in the next tutorial i will show you how you can uh, pass array or uh, declare if condition or use for loop in view file thank you for watching